Hello everybody. Today's topic is artificial intelligence. Yesterday we released an EA based on neural network perception. It's a branch of neural network. Uh, we don't use uh, convolutional neural network or LSTM because I think uh, perception uh, neural network is enough to help us analyze market data and to get signals. It's very easy to learn for the beginner and um, I think uh, artificial intelligence is really helpful because we have developed a lot of EA and compared their performance and the neural network um, some deep learning model is really awesome and uh, the results of them are very attractive so that's why we push this kind of knowledge to the traders and hope every trader can has their own AI EA and uh, get a very uh, high performance to get profit um, today we will show how to train a model of neural network and how to run the trained model to get the signal. Uh, we released an EA yesterday and if you check our platform and you can find them and there are two EAs, two new EAs. One is this one sample training neural model and the other one is sample run neural model this one is for training and training and this one is for running to get the signal let's start and the first thing is to open back testing page after that let's choose this one to run and we can choose uh, the default parameters and you don't need to change them just run it and uh, after that let's choose the start period and the ending period for example let's choose this one May 1st and the data time frame is M1 and this this option is uh, you don't need to care just to choose 500 and uh, because we will use the historical data to train the model so we don't need to see um, the chart so remove the check of this option and run the training EA straightforward okay this process is to get the historical data and the model is not trained yet so we need to stop the EA and because when we stopped this EA and and the init function will be wrong and we wrote the program logic there to train model so when we stop EA and the training process will be wrong so let's operate that 
and the time and it actually it takes time so maybe you will be shown some pop-up message just like uh, your browser uh, is slowed down by some program so just neglect this kind of alert message just neglect that press wait and the training process maybe will take um, two minutes and that's why we just choose one day one day's data to train and uh, the data is based on M1 time frame so an M1 time frame uh, will make maybe more than 1000 uh, sample data to train the model so even you just choose one day's historical data and you can get more than 1000 sample data to train the model so it's still a very very big process to train the model don't press exit pages button because it will stop the train training process and you can just press wait to make the process continue and uh, because neural network is not uh, how can I say um, the results are not the same between every between the test uh, the tests for example if you test it this afternoon and the result maybe will be different from uh, when you test it at night so the, the results are different so let's check okay it's done when you see the state is stopped that means the the training process is done so okay so now we get a, a trained model the next uh, step is to run the train the model and to see how to get signal from a trained neural network model and let's choose this EA and just uh, keep the parameter uh, default and you don't need to change them and uh, after that and choose the same period and but uh, you need to uh, increase your initial deposit because in the testing process and uh, the signal will be the number of the signals will be very very big so it will send a lot of orders and uh, open a lot of trades maybe your if you choose 500 and uh, your margin will not will not be enough so let's choose one hundred thousand dollars to test and you can now you can check this option and to see to make the process visible and to see how the chart is affected by neural network model let's speed up the process 
now you can see a lot of circles there and the red one the the red ones stand for cell signals and the blue ones stand for buy signals and all of them are created by the neural network model and in this program and we use RSI as indic uh, RSI indicator as our input parameters why because RSI uh, is RSI's are uh, calculated uh, value is very easy to be normalized so that's why we choose RSI as our sample and you can choose other indicators just like a, a simple moving average or MACD but don't forget to normalize the input parameters because it's very very important to uh, a neural network model a neural networks model uh, usually just accept the value range from 0 to 1 so don't use greater than 1 the, uh, don't use the value greater than 1 or smaller than 0 so use the value ranged from 0 to 1 that's very important okay the process will be very very long so uh, let's just uh, skip the process. Let's stop it. Okay, today's topic is AI, artificial intelligence. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.